Welcome to Mr. Hall's how-to series. Today we're going to be talking about ring side clearance. Now why is ring side clearance so important? Compression gases actually get between the ring and the ring groove and pressurize against the cylinder wall. These piston rings do not have enough tension on their own to supply enough pressure to seal the cylinder off, so compression gases have to get between the ring and the ring groove. And one way to check that is to put a feeler gauge between the ring and the ring groove and see it should have a little bit of pull to the feeler gauge. I've got a one and a half feeler gauge on this piston ring. Now I like to see between one and a half and three thousandths as a maximum. Some ring manufacturers say you can go down as low as one. I don't like to go that far. And some ring manufacturers also say that you can go as much as four. I don't like to go that far either. I want the compression gases to be able to get behind the ring, but I don't want so much clearance that it won't build any pressure behind that ring and push it against the cylinder wall. So what do you do if you don't have enough clearance? You can take a flat plate, a ceramic plate works pretty good, you can get a tile at like Home Depot, put somewhere between a 600 and a 1000 grit sandpaper, and actually work the ring on that flat plate to take a little bit of clearance off so you have more clearance in this groove. Let's say you've got too much clearance in the groove. It's possible that the grooves are worn in the piston, or it's possible that this ring has too much wear on it. So you want to put a new ring and see what the clearance is with the new ring. Look for more of Mr. Hall's how-to videos.